Oh, uh, hey guys, welcome to episode 49 of Let's Play Dragon Quest 6. And I know we ended it at finally reaching the Cosgate Citadel, or taking a slight detour to get another monster party member. So I have come back to, uh, to Arkbolt, which is where we originally met Terry. And assuming I can remember how to go down. Uh, there's a way to go. I know it. No, that's for the shopkeeper. I'm gonna figure this out. Don't worry. I got this. Uh, here? Going down. This isn't the way to the woman, is it? Oh my gosh. Go around back. I can't go around back. Awkward. Uh, maybe that's the prison there. I'm just an idiot. Or that's a training hall. Gosh. I should have watched the Arkworld episode before I did this one. It's okay, I haven't just wasted, like, <laughs> a minute of your time. <laughs> Trying to find where I'm going. <laughs> oh, gosh, nope. All right. All right, it took me a little bit, but I realized that it's on the left, or no, right side. I won't know my left or my right. Let's try this one. I see treasure. Good job, Terry. Where you sailed, man? Uh, yeah. Guess that isn't worth so talking about. And okay. All right. I will at some point narrow down all the possibilities. Let's try here. Oh, hey, look at it. It's Commander Brutus. We didn't say Terry? Really not. Alright. Sure. And we got Lizzie, which is sweet, because it's a Battle Rex, or at least that's what it used to be called in the old Dragon Warrior days. Okay. So, just another little side character you can recruit. I know there's a lot more um, slimes I can recruit, but I don't really care to, I just feel like getting Lizzie. Now I could just oh, zoom, switch worlds, get back to the story. See now that I've been to Cloud's Gate Citadel. Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna fix that right now. Sorry, Terry. Boink. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Okay. Go to Cloudsgate Citadel. Let's go speak to the people here. Talk to King Zenith. Hoy. Keeper of Dreams. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 
Glad he's okay. Yeah, I imagine he would be. Cool. And that, like, fully heals your team. And if you use it, you can come back and get another one. <laughs> another Yggdrasil Leaf. Always get a store up on those. Good to be able to have... It's good to give those another characters, just in case your characters that normally revive are out of... out of action. Okay. Let's continue exploring. Okay. Is this an active... It's actually been a while since I saved because I quick saved. So, yes, I will save. Beep. Beep. I'm nearing up. I'm getting closer and closer to the time of the top file, which is the one I've, where I beat the game. Yes, of course I do. That golden egg. Neat. Okay. Right? Carver holds the future, not your breakfast. Bumpkin. Okay. Go see King Zenith. Wait, wrong door. Wait, is there much stuff here? Look at all these dancing girls. Okay. Whatever. Let's go talk to King Zenith. I'm done with this. Hello, Lord Zenith. You're welcome. Yep. Sounds like final boss material to me. But he's weaknesses. Pegasus. Uh-oh. Huh. Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe. Alright, let's do it. You know, it's funny, when I ask the party for their opinions, Millie always talks first before Carver. So I could just imagine seeing Carver like, Oi, Roto, and then she's like, Yeah, I think we should do this! Just cuts him off. And Carver's just dumbfounded, so Nevin just tunes in too. Oh, my phone is... Oh. Oh, okay. It's going the well. This is trippy. What am I doing? Figure eight?
I don't think this is working. Did he say what I should be doing? I noticed my phone was giving me a ringer. Let's turn on silent. I'm gonna talk to that guy. Wait. 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 The heck am I? Okay. I'm good. Cookie music. This place is wild. Right, man, encounters. What kind of slime defense? Does it like harden its slimeness? Oh. Anything that way? Guess not. Boss trolls. These guys are in the final dungeon. Dragon Quest Nine. Boss trolls have been in the series for a while. There's stairs going up there, but I don't know. There's a door. Is there another door on the other side too? I didn't notice. Uh oh. Oh yeah, it's a new tech that Carver learned. Scoreboard! Getting some seeds. What the? Yes. To stone. Her heart. Peggy Sue, are you Pegasus? See, to anyone who still hasn't played through this game themselves yet, I definitely want to suggest um, using party chat like I have randomly. It really fleshes out the characters and whatnot. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in a bunch of episodes. This Let's Play has been going on for like... a year or so now. If, or more. I've been doing this for a while. There's Pegasus. No, Misty. But the party chat just fleshes out the characters a lot. Like, if you just play through the story and you never do it, then it might seem like the characters don't talk at all. But both Dragon Quest VI and Dragon Quest V have a lot of it. I mean, Dragon Quest IX even had party chat. It was just very limited in that it was only Stella who talked to you about some events, and it was very casual. You had to go into Stella's little menu. Uh, stairway down, stairway down. But, um... So, yeah, but if you play through this game... You know, even you can even swap out the characters, for, like, for Terry, or Ashlyn, or even Amos. Like, all the characters you get, they all provide their own separate commentary. So while I keep getting Carver, Millie, and Nevin's perspective of all the events that are going on whenever I press B, it is. Okay. Right on. So, 
But if you play through this with other people, or like you add Terry to your party, you get his feedback and everything, so it's cool. And if you play this game, I definitely suggest pressing B if you like the story and want to hear more. Because it really fleshes out all the characters' personalities, and I think it's something that's overlooked. A lot of other RPGs will give you that text automatically, and Dragon Quest kind of makes it optional. So a lot of people would assume that, like, Dragon Quest just has, like, flatter characters, but it's just, it doesn't force it on you. But that's what I'm doing. I'm forcing it on you. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not forcing you. It's just a suggestion. I think it makes the game better. I enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I haven't showed this off yet. And it looks like I never will. Okay, then. See, it's cool that Ashlyn knows Mega Magic. Because it's a very strong spell. I'm sure I've talked about this before, too. But uh, it's a very strong spell. It just sucks up all your magic. So during, like, the last few bosses, you can switch Ash... Because you have access to your wagon. So you can switch Ash... Swish. Switch Av... Oh my gosh, I can't say their names. Switch Ashlyn in. Say that, like, four times fast. <laughs> I don't want to say it, though, now. I peer pressured myself into not doing it. But, um... You can swap her in and use Mega Man, uh, the really good magic spell that I can't think of its name because I'm like totally brain farting. And and then swap her out after she's done the damage. And then it'll do a lot, and then you get like a swap out, and so you get like a free, really strong attack. So something that good about keeping her like still leveled in the party. Uh I guess this tower just gets repeatedly smaller going up. You would think I would think to take him off of. Oh. That is a cool attack. Terryland Undead Undoer. I forgot what class he starts out as. Middle or left? Or right? Um, staircase going up, staircase going up, staircase going down. Well. Um, what's going on? Let's leave this door. Nothing's here. This is kind of weird to do all this. There's a staircase up down to the right side, but I don't see where it, would, where it would go. It's hard doing this without being able to see what I'm doing. Except this door. Path down. Oi! I'm curious about this path, so we're gonna take the path down. So you guys can't see what's on the top screen, so I can see a little bit extra, but it's still Still confusing. Holo. Okay, just so you guys see, there is a room of chests up there, but a door to the side. So I think I know how to get that now. You don't want to step on that stuff because it hoits you. Hey, overcoming machine. Monsters, which in a previous episode I said were some of my favorite monsters. See, in Dragon Warrior Monsters, in the original one for Game Boy, um, Killing Machine was called Roboaster. And when they released Dragon Quest Monster or Dragon Warrior Monsters 2, and I got that, they brought out those overkilling machines, but they were called Roboster 2. So no matter what, if you liked them, you just liked Roboster 2. Oh, gotta go down again. So, I've always liked those monsters, and even in when I played uh, through Joker and gotten like Killing Machine and stuff, I would always rename them Roboster. 
I just always like their designs, and I have I, I like my um I have a figure of Killing Machine. If they make a figure of over Killing Machine, uh, I don't know about it. <coughs> Though they did probably really expensive. But that was one of my first pieces of Dragon Quest merchandise, along with the slime bank I got, which I still use as my coin bank. Slime piggy bank. But yeah, I don't know, I just felt like talking about it, because he's cool. And... Oh, sure enough, it was right there. Something I do need to do after this, is I do need to go to Medford's Manor. See if I can get any new items from mini metals. Cool. Is that even good? It's for Carver. Cool. I hope there's not a boss into this. Because my party's using up a lot of MP. Okay. So. What? I went up. I believe the first one I went to is actually the correct one. But I want to make sure I check this path. Going down or head up. I'm on Twitch or something so I could get you guys direct feedback on suggestions on where to go. They didn't even notice me. How rude. Now probably would have been a good time to use Kazapple. Kazapple. Come on. Yeah. Oh, baby. Feels so good. And in no way creepy. Whoa. I see chests up here. But I gotta be careful. I don't wanna fall. Fire claw. Is that any good? Doesn't look like it. Mag goes. Okay. Come on. I'm never getting the tap ropes here. Let's use Zap. I guess Zap still hits everyone. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Let's. What the? Well, okay then. What? No. Mimic. No. <laughs> Shh. 
show him, Nevin. Scoreboard. Okay. So I guess they want me to drop out the window. Or just exit. Hello, what's this? Top floor. Oh, look at that. There's Pegasus. Peggy Sue? Peggy Sue? Peggy Sue? What? What the? What the? What the? What the? Boss fight? That wasn't ready for a boss fight. Can I just cause that all of them? Nope, only one. Alright. Hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. I got about two and a half minutes left on my um, on my recording here, which means we're getting pretty close. To, we're getting pretty close. To, there's a T at the end of close, apparently. But we're getting pretty close to 30 minutes, I guess. Oh, I need that. Yeah. Up, Terry. Later, dork. Look, Peggy Sue. Oh my gosh, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, Pegasus. Oh my gosh, why were we so blind? Up. Up, up, and away, apparently? Where did I... Where... Hey, Pegasus. Whoa. Where is he? Pegasus? Pegasus. Hi, Pegasus. Huzzah! Really? Okay, if that'll see you guys next episode. <laughs> see you then. Peace. <laughs> Terrible.